close your eyes, and breathe in a way that feels soothing. So the breath feels good coming in, nourishing, relaxing if you're feeling tense, energizing if you're feeling tired. And then keep it up. The body and the mind get worn down very easily, so it's good to have something to soothe them, to repair them, to heal them. That's what the Buddhist teachings are all about. They're all about healing. He himself was able to heal the problem of his own suffering. And after that, he could have done anything he wanted to. But he realized the most useful thing would be to leave behind a body of knowledge where other people could learn and then heal themselves. The Buddha wasn't going to go out and be a doctor for everybody, in other words, treating their illnesses. But he would teach them how to be doctors for themselves. And that's focusing on the right point. I've seen faith healers, other doctors who are pretty amazing, and they spend all their time and they're dealing with basically the results of things that other people have done. They don't teach the people how to turn around and work on the causes. Someone came one time to get confirmation from a John Fuang that his concentration was good. I doubt that it, John Fuang said anything, but the guy wrote a piece in a, one of those monk magazines in Thailand saying that he had been guaranteed that he had jhana by a John Fuang. And then he advertised himself as a healing doctor. He could use the power of his concentration to heal others. Well, that meant all of a sudden all these people came thronging to the monastery, hoping that a John Fuang could also treat their illnesses. And as he told them, he treated only one illness, and that was the, the illness of the heart and the mind. And even there he said, it's up to each person to actually administer the treatment themselves. But that's curing the problem at its cause, which in the long run is much more effective and much kinder. So now we have this body of knowledge, we have this tradition that allows us to heal ourselves. So make use of it. We start with the breath and then move into the mind, finding ways that we're causing ourselves unnecessary suffering. Even though everything we do is for the sake of happiness, we still make ourselves suffer and we wonder why. Well, the Buddha explains and also shows how you can stop. Now teaching is a great gift, so make sure you make the best use of it. because you're the one that will benefit. And of course, it spreads its benefits around. When the mind is healed, you're not leaning on other people. When you have a sense of well-being inside, a sense of well-being that you can trust and rely on, you're not feeling frustrated and irritated by the pleasures that come and go. And so you don't have to take any frustration or irritation to take out on others. So it's good for you and it's good for the people around you.